Happy Bus. Crime lies hidden in the puzzle, and the truth emerges through reasoning. Detective stories of Inspector Chip. The Time Trick Three, Part One. What should we do, Inspector Chimp? We're getting close to the deadline the kidnapper set. The police officers gathered around Inspector Chimp. He sat in the middle of the group, his chin propped in his hands as his mind raced. All the evidence says that it wasn't Cyril who kidnapped Ringo, but Mr. Rhino treats everyone so well and everyone likes him. Cyril is the only one who has had a quarrel with him. If it wasn't Cyril, who could it have been? Countless clues flew through Inspector Chimp's mind, but they were too scattered to reveal the truth. How long until we have to release Cyril? About eight hours. Attention everyone, we still can't rule Cyril out as a suspect. We need to question everyone who saw Cyril again. Let's get to it now. Yes, yes sir. sir! Once again, Inspector Chimp and the Sylvan police officers split up and went back to all the places Cyril had been. The squirrel behind the counter in the convenience store greeted Inspector Chimp warmly as soon as she saw him. Hello! Oh, Inspector Chimp, it's you again! How can I help you? Inspector Chimp shook his head helplessly. It's still the same as before. Um, I want to go over what you said about Cyril again. Are you sure it was 3 o'clock when you saw him? Oh, yes, yes, very sure. He kept pushing me. He said several times that it was 3 o'clock. No way I can forget that. When she saw that Inspector Chimp had no more questions, the squirrel picked up the watering can and started watering some small flowers. What kind of flower is this? It's pretty. Oh, it's lemon verbena. I grew it myself. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? I can give you some seeds if you'd like. It's easy to take care of, as long as you water it and make sure it gets lots of sunlight. I come out every afternoon at 3 o'clock to move the awning, so I can be sure they get all the afternoon shade they need. That and a bit of watering is all they need. Super easy to care for. They're great! Inspector Chimp was quick to pick up a clue as the squirrel rambled about lemon verbena. Wait, wait. Why do you have to move the awning every day at, at, at 4? Is that what you said? Not 4. 3. That's when shade from the awning starts to fall on my flower bed. So I pull the awning back every afternoon at 3 sharp, so I can be sure my lemon verbena gets plenty of sunlight all day long. I water them then, too. 3, you say? Yes. What's wrong? Were you moving the awning and watering the flowers when Cyril came in the other day? No, it was before I watered the flowers. Huh, that's strange. Something doesn't seem right. Inspector Chimp raised his chin as countless clues fell into place in his mind. The dots finally connected into a line. <laughs> that Cyril is cunning, but now I know the truth. Inspector Chimp smiled and pulled down his cap. Time to lock him up, but this time I'll have to use some special tricks too. In the interrogation room at the police station, Cyril continued to hum triumphantly. Suddenly, with a click, all the lights went out. The interrogation room was plunged into darkness. Hey! What's going on? Cyril broke into a cold sweat and tried to run out of the room, but he was handcuffed to the table and couldn't escape. Hey! What's going on? Someone? Anyone? Hey! I... I want to file a complaint! Uh, someone? No! Please, somebody! I need to go to the restroom! Uh, I'm hungry. Water. I... I want water. Cyril's voice had become a feeble whisper, and all the words seemed to be swallowed up by the darkness. There was no response. He had no idea how much time had passed. 